I want to wish everyone uh, a happy World Toilet Day. It is a day set by the UN to, for all of us to reflect on uh, the sanitation issues, especially on uh, the toilet, the use of the toilet as a way of giving people the dignity, but also protecting us against many diseases which may come from the wastes, human wastes. Um, I would say that uh, currently we still have in the world more than 2 billion people who don't have access to basic sanitation. And this is huge. In Sub-Saharan Africa, we are talking of over 710 million people who don't have access to basic sanitation. And we have a huge number of people who uh, don't have access to hand wash facilities. I think this is very alarming, especially when we consider the current uh, period with the pandemic, uh, which can be very much exacerbated by the lack of access to basic sanitation and lack of um, uh, hand wash facilities. In the last decades, we uh, have uh, observed a uh, sort of neglect of sanitation. And uh, it is only in 2002 that African government uh, considered to uh, open the eyes to uh, the sanitation issues by putting in place the Africa sanitation type of movement, I would say, where people would uh, sit and get status of sanitation on the continent, reflect on different ways of addressing the bottlenecks to providing uh, sanitation services to people. In 2008, Africa made a, a groundbreaking uh, meeting or at ministerial level in Itequini, Durban, South Africa, and came up with Itequini commitment, which aimed at accelerating uh, the sanitation uh, actions towards the Millennium Development Goals. And the same 2008, the Itequini commitment were also endorsed by the head of state meet uh, when they met in Shamshe in Egypt and were part of uh, the head of state declaration of uh, Sham Shamshe, which are still very valid today and a guide our way when we seek to address water and sanitation issues. Later on, many actions came in. But in 2015, when Africa was evaluating the Millennium Development Goal and the Itequini Declaration, we noted that more than 40 countries had not been successful in reaching those objectives. And that is an alarming situation. In 2015, there were a ministerial declaration, the Ngor Declaration, which is more ambitious, aiming at bringing sanitation uh, services to all uh, people in Africa, and which very much align with uh, the SDGs, especially SDG 6.2. I think this is, was a, a very good uh, decision and very good commitment of the African leadership to uh, put now a uh, prioritization to the sanitation and also uh, to toilet and ending open defecation in Africa. AMCAO has been working to monitor the implementation of uh, the, 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 the NGO declaration and also the SDG uh, uh, plans. And we have been supporting countries to moving in that direction by providing the status of uh, the implementation of actions which lead to universal sanitation and actions to end open defecation. Recently, when we were monitoring the environment, the enabling environment, we noticed uh, through the, uh, the, the, the survey of uh, 
uh, uh, 26 countries, that uh, most of the policies were not aligned to SDGs. They were still aligned to MDGs. They were not comprehensive. They were lacking a legal framework. They were lacking regulations. They were lacking uh, financial uh, uh, dispositions. And because of that, we decided to uh, spearhead the development of the African Sanitation Policy Guidelines, which we believe will be a document which will guide all the African countries and help them produce very quickly policies which are aligned with the core elements of the SDGs and help us prioritize uh, sanitation and toilet uh, among the key things that need to be attended so that uh, the services towards safely managed sanitation can be provided to all. The SPG uh, will be uh, ready by end of this year. Next year we'll launch it and will uh, facilitate the uptake by countries, help those who will need some help to implement it. We hope that that will change the landscape of sanitation and improve uh, the access of people uh, to toilets, proper toilets, and uh, end uh, uh, the uh, open defecation and all the consequences which come with it. I want to uh, end by saying that COVID-19, which uh, required proper uh, toilet so that we don't have those effluents and worse, or as a proper, a, 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 a possible uh, way of contaminating our people, but also access to other sanitation uh, facilities, including hand wash and proper hygiene. Uh, all those are key priorities that we need to uh, advocate for so that all the countries can provide those services to their citizens and uh, together to shield our population against those different disasters like uh, uh, COVID-19 and other uh, pandemic which may occur in, in the future. So I think that uh, uh, prioritization is one of the things that we need and it goes with uh, other aspects of this enabling environment uh, here we think of finance, we think of capacity, human capacity, institutional capacity, and uh, also uh, a, a very a high level of coordination and creation of synergies among the key players in this area. AMCAO is open as a continental body to provide its uh, own platform and uh, its willingness and the political will of ministers gathered under AMCA to uh, promote all the actions uh, towards attaining these objectives. I wish to conclude by calling all the uh, stakeholders, from gov governmental stakeholders, non-governmental, donors, researchers, and other people to come together and translate all the uh, calls and willingness we have from uh, the policy and uh, decision makers into actions which will be uh, changes, the changes that we need to create impact on our population. Sustainable development cannot be attained if we don't sustainable and safe management of different types of wastes. We need safely managed uh, sanitation to really have sustainable development. I want to wish you again a very successful uh, World uh, Toilet Day uh, to raise this awareness and continue our actions till the last person is served. We need to leave no one behind. Happy Toilet Day.